Okay, welcome back everyone to another podcast on Yield Labs. Steve here. Uh, many of you will know me um, from my presence on social media and other activities through um, Yield Labs. Um, really excited today to have John Eagleton from Cash App um, join us. I'm um, going to do an overview on Cash App. Uh, and John's um, joined us and uh, going to run us through this really exciting project. Um, so Cash App is a um, blockchain powered neobank underpinned by the, the Terra ecosystem. And as many of you know, we've done a lot of stuff on Terra, really love that space and lots of exciting things going on over there. So really excited to have John here today. Um, John, as I say, quick overview of, um, of yourself, if you wouldn't mind, who you are, your background um, and how Cash App um, is underpinned by um, a company called IntelliBridge. Thanks, Steve, and, and thanks for having me on the show. Um, I'm going to uh, share my screen. Um, so uh, my name is John Eagleton. I'm the CEO of IntelliBridge. Um, so IntelliBridge is a publicly traded company uh, trading um, on the Canadian Securities Exchange, OTC in the United States, and on the Frankfurt Exchange in Europe. Um, in terms of in terms of my background, um, I have a um, I've been working in fintech and capital markets uh, for for about twenty five years. Um, I worked at BNP Paribas uh, um, and Bankers Trust in London as a in emerging markets fixed income bond trader. So um, you know fixed income bond trading back then uh, not not too much unlike uh, DeFi yields of today. Um, you know yields were were anywhere from you know five percent up to fifty percent on both sovereign and corporate bonds. So that was my my first, uh, my first uh, experience in, in the fixed income space. Um, and then in 2016, um, well, prior to that, uh, I, I, I built a, my first fintech company, um, which was tracking the performance of Wall Street research. And we provided um, hedge funds with the tools to monitor the value that they were getting from both the quantitative and qualitative perspective uh, of the research that they were getting from Wall Street. And we actually uh, we're sort of on the forefront of, of, of the space at that time um, when, when the US government was doing investigations into analyst conflicts of interest. And we were the first company to bring um, independent research to, to the masses um, and so that retail investors would have an equal playing field with the research that hedge funds um, and Wall Street was providing. In 2016, um, I, we got involved in blockchain. Um, we started building a P2P lending platform uh, for the U.S. market, and, and that's when we started to take a close look at blockchain and how we could use blockchain uh, for that purpose. We, we were actually looking to build a, a stable coin uh, back in 2017, and we ended up building a number of different products in the space through, through, through 2017 and until 2019. And, um, and then in uh, 2020, um, that's when we really started uh, to focus on the DeFi space and our objective of building a neo-banking platform powered by blockchain. Um, um, and in, in, we were essentially building in, 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 on Ethereum uh, back in 2020, but we found, uh, we made that sort of strategic decision to switch over uh, to the Terra blockchain. We saw it as more compatible with what we wanted to do, especially in emerging market countries um, where, you know, we're sort of solving the problem of high inflation in those markets and allowing people to very easily, you know, move their assets into a dollar stable coin um, you know, protect themselves against uh, currency devaluations, um, as well as, you know, earn, earn, earning high yields. Um, so that's sort of my background and, and, and where we are today. Okay, thanks, John. So uh, as I touched on before, um, Cash is a, is a blockchain neobank um, offering various services where you can save and earn. Um, there's a checking account, you've got an investment account. I've also got... Um, uh, a debit card, which is going to allow us to spend um, our, our money from the terror ecosystem, and in particular UST. So that's something personally I'm really excited about. And I know lots of people in the terror ecosystem are excited about, and certainly some of my friends and family are excited about as well. And I was at Tokens uh, 2049 last week in London, walking around, and I was, there's lots of card offerings. And I was like, I really, really want this card that I can just earn really high yield on, you know, with someone like Anchor. And then spend that yield, right? So that'll be my, you know, that's my income. Um, and here we are. We have it, I think, here in cash. So really excited to go through some of these services in a bit more detail um, and just run through this. And we've got lots of slides. We're going to do a show and tell as well of the product. 
um, with, an, with a test account that John's got. So um, let's have a look through. But just before we start, what is the goal of cash, John? What is your objective? Um, well, our, our, our mission is, is to make it easy to save, spend and send universally with decentralized cash. Um, so, you know, we, we believe that, you know, that it's going to take time, um, obviously, for, uh, you know, the adoption of, of stablecoin technology um, and programmable payments. Um, and so in order to prepare sort of that roadmap over the next few years, um, we decided to build a hybrid solution. Uh, so what you what, what a customer sees is what they would normally see, like in a traditional banking account, checking savings and investments and cards. Uh, but what's happening on, on sort of uh, the back end um, is that the checking savings and investments components, which are built on Terra, um, primarily um, are the DeFi part of the application. And the card um, part of it is, is actually custodial traditional fiat cards. And that makes it easy for customers to um, move their funds you know, back and forth between fiat economy and stablecoin economy. Um, so that sort of the product can evolve for when the time is right for, for and people sort of are adopting stable coins as, as their main method of, of, of transacting of global, you know, cross-border payments or payments in general. Okay, excellent. I think the one thing in crypto is sometimes we don't always um, fully understand or appreciate is the fact that everyone in crypto is really sort of, is adding value in terms of mass adoption. Um, and sometimes we have a bit of internal conflict in the crypto with different projects when really we should all be together on the on this crypto journey in terms of mass adoption and sort of promoting it to people who, who haven't quite sort of boarded the crypto train yet as such. So I think this product is really good and something that's really going to help bring new people in and sort of move towards adoption. So awesome. Um, in terms of that, then, as we stand today, in terms of customer numbers, how many customers have you got on the platform at the moment? Um, as of today, I think we're around 32,000 customers. Okay. Uh, so that's, uh, that's actually doubled in the past month. We just, we just went live. We've been in private beta for, for a few months, just went live last week. Um, so we've seen a, a nice uptick uh, on that front. Um, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Um, it'd be really interesting to keep an eye on those numbers and hopefully we see some, uh, some growth moving forward. So um, yeah, let, let's keep an eye on that one. Um, in terms of then the Terra piece, how did that, that come about? You mentioned before about maybe it, uh, there was a bit of a change in terms of mid-project or how did that Terra piece come about and how is cash powered by the Terra ecosystem? Yeah, so we, you know, we, in early 2020 uh, th through the year, we were, we were building on, on Ethereum um, and um, it became clear by, uh, by the end of the year, uh, December, um, that you know the complexities of layer two on Ethereum and, and really our initial target market was emerging market countries, micropayments. Um, Terra was, was really the most compatible solution, um, you know, much you know, fast settlement times. Um, so people could actually use it to pay for um, you know, taxis or coffee shops and, and low transaction costs, which is important you know, in emerging market countries, especially where, where people are doing you know, transactions below you know, three or four dollars. Um, so in in uh, in January it was a it was a it was a a, a, a sprint uh, to get to our alpha um, at the end of March. Um, so we had to essentially repivot everything we were doing onto Terra. Um, it, it seemed like a tough decision at the time, but looking back, it was clearly the only decision that that, that would work. And mm -hmm. uh, and you know, so we we looked at at the Terra ecosystem, and you know, obviously, you know, stable coins UST being um, you know perfect solution for, for checking accounts, um, Anchor for, for savings accounts. Um, I think, you know, we, we integrated with, with Anchor in, in, a, in a couple of weeks right after, after Anchor launched, um, and then Mirror for investment accounts. Um, obviously, there's a lot else going on in the Terra ecosystem, so we're, we're watching very carefully, um, you know, what, what other protocols we can integrate into the platform that would, you know, provide our customers with, um, you know, additional banking services a more traditional type of banking services. Okay, cool. I mean, that was one of the questions I was going to sort of ask in terms of, you know, is there is there future scope for additional um, protocol adoption? And, you know, I'm just off the top of my head thinking NFTs or you know, lots of stuff happening in this space. So I presume you can't give us any clues, but um, sounds like one where there's uh, definitely some uh, potential moving forward. So again, really exciting. And just before we move into looking at some of these services, 
do you have, um, I think I've seen one of the slides in this deck that goes through some sort of forecast um, for sort of growth going forward. Is that something we can just quickly touch on? Uh, like our, our sort of uh, financial projections? Uh... Yeah, I, I think there was one in there. Was there one in there? That's the one, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just to touch on your point about like NFTs is a good example because that's not, you know, uh, Bank of America is not offering NFTs. It's not a traditional banking service, but it's, you know, it's very interesting what's going on in the space. Um, and so we are looking at, you know, how NFTs could be used, for example, in a rewards type of platform or, or other ways of, of uh, sort of gamifying uh, the experience. Um, yeah, so we're continuing to look at that. In terms of your question around, around the, the sort of the business model, um, you know, we were actually ahead of projections. Um, you know, we, we were expecting to be at around um, you know, 20,000 uh, this time, where we're now 32,000 customers. Um, we expect to, uh, by the end of 2022, be at 143,000 customers. Um, and that's assuming, you know, the average customer has about a thousand dollars that they're transacting within the system. Um, so that, that would be about 143 million in, in TVL um, and, and then revenues are based on the business model, which is 25 basis points transaction fee um, and then interest on, on that value lock. So right now you can get the full anchor um, rate minus the, the transaction fees of 25 basis points to go in and 25 out plus the network fees. Um, but we will, um, in the next few months, um, be launching our um, uh, product with a 10% base yield and then with the rewards program being able to get up to 16% um, interest. So the difference there of an average of, let's say, 5% would, would be additional income um, on the, on the business model. Um, in terms of the card program, like neo banks, like Revolut and 26, you know, they, they charge anywhere from, from five to, to $20, um, dollars or euros for, for their card. So we would be charging something on the subscription fees, but then again, our, with our rewards program, customers can get, um, in different tiers can get free cards. Um, so, you know, we have yet to see how that, how that part of the business model will play out. And then we're also, you know, we've had interest from companies that, um, um, from different, you know, e-commerce companies, companies with centralized exchanges that wanted to um, integrate our platform. So we've been in talks uh, for white labeling our platform and that that's a, either licensing fees or, or revenue share. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Um, that's that really, really good. Um, it's really exciting to see what you're doing. I'd be really keen to keep an eye on the numbers and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're, uh, you're ahead of the schedule for the rest of it as well. So um, good stuff. Thanks. So let's... Um, Let's get into the into the services if if we can. I know you've got a test account that you were potentially able to uh, run us through and just sort of work through these um, these offerings. So for anyone that is already um, a member of Cash App, you'll be familiar with with this screen. Anyone who's not, um, here's your chance to take a look. And uh, if it's um, something that appeals to you, which I'm sure it will, then um, you know head over to uh, Cash App and uh, create an account. But this is brilliant in terms of being able to take a look through. So as you can see across the middle, we've got sort of the four key um, features or services as of the moment, and we've got them on the left-hand side down the, the dashboard there as well. Um, so let's just, let's just have a look through then, John. Um, Check-in account is the first one. Um, what can we do here in terms of deposits, withdrawals? I can, you know, there's Ethereum, there's Terra. Can you just give us a bit of an overview of, of what we can do? Yeah, sure. So this is, this is actually a live account uh, with real funds, uh, you know, on mainnet. Um, so the checking account, you've got uh, UST, um, and then we recently added Ethereum wallets. So if you go up here to your wallet button, uh, you can click on that. You can see your Terra wallet address and your Ethereum wallet address. Um, so we've got uh, Tether, DAI, USDC, um, MNT being the Mongolian stablecoin, and we'll be adding other currencies for, for other markets uh, going forward uh, on the Terra uh, platform. Um, okay, so on that addresses then, so those addresses that you just popped up, they're not um, people's um, Terra Station wallets integrated into this. They're separate wallets, right, to their, to their Terra Station. They, they get a unique address when you sign up. Yeah, so, we, that. Um, yeah, so when, you, when you sign up, um, you, um, you sign up, uh, we're, we're powered by Taurus, um, which, is a, which is a fantastic solution. A lot of companies have been trying to solve the the private key, the wallet solution for, for a while, and Taurus came up, I think, with a brilliant solution, which we've integrated, which means that you can sign up or log in with your, your social media account, 
uh, Google, for example, or, or email. Um, and, and when you sign up, um, the system is creating both a Terra wallet address and Ethereum wallet address automatically. So that's integrated to the platform. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, obviously, you, you need to know about it so you can transfer funds back and forth. Um, that being said, we, we are launching a feature to connect uh, to uh, Terra Station. So for those of you who do have Terra Station wallets, you'll be able to uh, click on the deposit button, um, go in here and you'll have your, your Terra Station and connect and deposit. Um, uh, we also support MetaMask and we'll be adding others. Awesome. Okay. And then there was a bit there you can deposit from your bank as well. So, um, and it's fee free from what I can see. So that looks really interesting as well. So you can just fund, you know, from your tr legacy traditional account straight into here. That's right. So we, we've integrated both Transact and Ramp Network and Transact is running a promotion for the next couple of weeks with uh, uh, zero fees, Transact fees. We don't charge any fees um, for, 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 for the on-ramping. There are of course network fees. Um, so yeah, that's how you can on-ramp. Right now, uh, that being said, um, you know, we were working with banking partners to integrate um, traditional banking accounts, fiat accounts, uh, which will be linked to, to the card accounts here. Um, and those card accounts that, that will allow customers to easily just do wire transfers in Europe. It's IBAN to IBAN. It's very simple. Everybody's familiar with that user experience. Uh, US it's ACH. And, and so we're, we're, we're launching those um, um, fiat bank accounts um, with cards in, in different markets, um, you know, over the next months. And, um, and that'll make it easy then to move funds back and forth between fiat and, and crypto. So if you want to transfer, um, you know, euros from your IBAN account, you click a button for the amount you want to transfer and put that into checking or, or into your savings account or an interest or into investments to, to, to trade um, your assets. Okay, brilliant. Um, and then send in then, so, or withdraw, whichever way you want to look at it. Is it the same in terms of, if you can deposit from MetaMask, um, Terra Station, your bank, can you withdraw to those ones in the same way or how does that work? Um, right now, you, you, in order to withdraw or send, you can send to, to any address. Um, so if it's UST, it, you know, it's asking for a Terra wallet address. Um, if it's, you know, Ethereum stablecoin, Ethereum address. So you just okay. put the amount you want to, um, you want to transfer, um, and, and put in the address and, and send it. Okay. So we haven't got that link back from the bank then yet. Like you can deposit, you, you can't reverse it yet. Yeah. You can't reverse it yet. Um, so we, we took, we made a strategic decision, you know, let's get an MVP to market, let's get feedback from customers. Um, and then we can use that feedback to enhance it. Um, obviously, you know, I, I, I know what the roadmap looks like and, and it's, um, yeah. you know, there's obviously a lot of, um, features to come, which will just enhance the, the experience there. So yeah, that's one of the things we we're working on. Awesome. Okay. And then the transfer, is that transfer in between these tabs here or is that transfer in between users on the platform? That's transferring between accounts, so between your checking account and your savings account. So if yeah. I want to move funds, um, you know, if I want to deposit funds in Anchor, um, you know, I put in let's say hundred dollars, um, which is my UST for my checking account. I'm putting that to my savings account, so that's a UST, um, and um, and then I can make that that deposit. Brilliant. Okay. And what about an internal transfer then? So is there like is there something on the roadmap in terms of an you know if I'm a customer and you're a customer, John, I want to send you a hundred um ust can is there something that we can do you know fee free or is that on the roadmap so sort a of really internal easy internal transfer functionality um, so right now like if, if i wanted to send you some this is some ust i would need your your wallet address i'd put it in here and i'd send it um we're adding the the the, the functionality to like have saved contacts you know send by a email, SMS, et cetera, to simplify that user experience because people, again, we're, we're trying to abstract the complexities and a long wallet address can be scary for people to double check, like, am I sending to the right address? Did I copy it correctly? So we want to be able to send with an email or a phone number um, from person to person. So um, the we, so we're, we, we would charge a 25 basis point uh, fee on that. And, um, and then, um, you know, then there's the, the network fees as well. So just as an example, let's just I'll just send to myself as an example. Uh, yeah. So 100, put in the address here, click next. Uh, so there's a 2FA, so I've got to go into my email and, um, 
and uh, get get the 2FA and then I'll be able to do it. But you'll have the details of the transaction fees there, the network fees and the cash fees. Okay, that, that's great. What I was thinking was in terms of obviously if you've got two um, cash app users, you can settle um, off chain. Um, oh. So there's no, it, there isn't actually then a, a fee because the, the transaction is settled off chain and you can just move the balances around the accounts. Is that something that's... Yeah, that's something. So, so what you see is, is you know, it's, it's purely a front end um, to the blockchain and to the protocols. Um, so we're, there's, there's no back end to the product. Um, and, and so what that means is, yeah, we wouldn't be doing any um, sort of off-chain settlement. Um, that, though that might be something we could explore down the road. There is the possibility on the fiat side to do that. Um, so if you've got two, two, two users with IBAN accounts, that could be settled because that's a, obviously a CFI solution integrated into this. All right, brilliant. Thank you. Um, so that's the check-in tab then in terms of money in, money out. Um, I presume when money's in here, it's not in an interest and we need to head over to the savings tab. Yeah. And this is um, obviously powered by Anchor. Many of you will know Anchor. We've had Matt Cantieri um, on the show. He was uh, sort of head of head of Anchor. So most of you should be familiar with that. If not, head over and check out our video. Um, so yeah, what what do we have to deposit here? Do we lock up? How does that work in terms of earning the yield here? So it's 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 basically the same thing as you have with Terra Station on Anchor. Uh, moving into Anchor, so this is just a front end uh, to to deposit funds into Anchor, um, and you can deposit UST into Anchor to get you know the the full Anchor rate. Right now, it's nineteen point four four percent. We've also just um, integrated with with the Ethereum wallets, as I mentioned, and you can deposit Dai and USDC um, using ETH Anchor, and that gives you uh, up to sixteen percent interest um, on your Ethereum stable coins. Okay, and are those rates standard across the board, or are they are they, are they dependent on a on a tiered status? And we haven't got to the cash rewards tab yet, but are they consistent, or are they differing based on um, sort of loyalty level? Uh, yeah, so so basically, the the the, the Ethereum stablecoin rates are the, the same rates you're going to get on ETH Anchor. Um, so if, if you're you know if you're using ETH Anchor to to access your your you're getting those those rates. The rates are lower for Ethereum stable coins than, than UST because of the additional um, costs involved in moving assets through through Ethanker. Okay, good stuff. Um, great opportunity to earn yield whilst sort of in your day to day um, card account. So again, really really good. Um, the investments tab then um, another another service that is powered by Mirror Protocol. Um, so I'm presuming, John, synthetic um, stocks over here and crypto as well. Exactly, exactly. So we, we have, you know, all the assets which are on Mirror um, here, here in the cash um, application. And, you know, you can sort them by equities, commodities. So there's some uh, gold, some commodity um, assets there, ETFs, um, and then blockchains. Um, so, so yeah, so that's, uh, so let's say, um, let me just go back here to the dashboard. Um, Luna, for example, let's go back to investments. So if I wanted to buy some Luna, I click on, on the button. Um, so it's showing the price chart. Um, obviously you got recent transactions. Um, so I wanna buy, you know, hundred dollars of Luna. Um, I click on buy. Um, it asks me to, to, to confirm, you know, the amount and the price. It shows the transaction fees. Um, and I confirm that, and uh, so this is a live transaction processing your order, um, and I'll get the um, uh, confirmation on that with a link to um, Terra Finder. As soon as this finishes processing, which normally be a few seconds, there we go. Um, and you've got the transaction record here, um, if you wanted to look at it on, on the blockchain. Um, and so the transaction is complete, and I just bought $100 of Luna. Nice and easy. Yeah, that's great. Cool. Okay, so the the list of um, assets on there, the M assets that were on there, is that as is now? Is is there more coming, or what, what's the plans here? Not longer term, or at least short short to mid term. Yeah. So as um, you know, as more assets get added to Mirror, we will we'll we'll include those in in the application. 
Um, so that's, you know, that's dependent on, on the Terra community and, and the demand from, from customers. Okay, good stuff. Um, okay, so that's check-in, savings, investments. Um, final one is obviously spending uh, and, and the card. Lots of demand for cards right now in the space. And certainly for me here now, it's, I would love this if I could use it and sort of spend um, UST on the card. That'd be fantastic. Um, selfishly, I'm in the UK. So I'm going to ask from a UK perspective, can I get this in the UK? Is there a card in the UK right now? Um, not right now, but we were targeting January for, for the UK. So, you know, every market has its own nuances in terms of, um, you know, the partners that we're working with um, and the rollout schedules. Um, so some markets will be sooner, November, December. Um, UK will be in January. Awesome. Okay. Um, so who's the lucky ones then that can get the card now? Do we have a, a list or is there sort of a rough region that's sort of better... Um, it's open up, open up in better, in those places more than others. Uh, Europe. I looked at France myself before I was having a look around. I could see France, and obviously you've got Germany there. Yeah. So, so our our initial rollout and focus is is on um, the European Union countries, actually the EEA, um, with a primary focus on on Germany, um, then France, Italy, and Spain. Um, so again, it sort of it depends on on our banking partner, um, you know, and the regulatory environment, um, you know, and the requirements uh, uh, for rolling out in each country. Each country has their own KYC. So within Europe, um, there's actually different levels of KYC that are required. Uh, mm-hmm. And again, that sort of plays over into other markets. Um, so it's, it's actually a very challenging um, integration uh, globally to do because, because of all the nuances and the different markets, the different um, systems. Europe's on IBAN, US is on ACH, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, awesome. Okay, January it is then. I'll wait. It's not too long. Um, good stuff. So with this card, we can we can add it to um, Apple Pay and and use it as a as a mobile app and Android Pay as well. Exactly. So we're we're actually um, you know each um, each card, there are different card programs uh, for different markets as well. So in some markets it might be Mastercard, in other markets it might be Visa. Um, you know, there are different levels of cards. Um, so right now we're we're, we're, we're actually getting some feedback from the market to see, you know, how many users just want sort of a basic card and we're actually going to be manufacturing, um, you know, recycle, using recycled plastic. We want to, you know, be eco-friendly. A lot of people want metal cards. Um, and then, you know, there's, there's different services, card programs that can, that can be included in, in these, like a premium metal card, you know, may have travel insurance and, and other, uh, um, other sort of perks that customers want. And, um, you know, as I, I think I may have mentioned, you know, our rewards program will, will allow customers to, um, to get free cards, um, depending on, you know, what tier of reward they're in. Okay. Exciting stuff. What's the lead time on getting a card? Yeah, so I was in Germany, say, how, how long? Yeah, so virtual, virtual cards will come first, um, just yep. because the, uh, the, the lead time on manufacturing is about eight to 12 weeks. So, um, so we'll, we'll launch with, uh, with the virtual cards, um, let people connect that to, to their Apple Pay or Google Pay um, and start using them um, while, they, while they wait for, for the physical cards. Cool. I'm all about the virtual card these days myself. So that would uh, be more than enough for me, but I know some people obviously like uh, the card in hand, um, but good. Okay, thank you. Um, I think that covers most things then on the services. Is there anything um, I've missed What you uh, want to add? No, I think I think that covers it. Um, the only thing uh, is the rewards program. Yeah, oh, sorry, I was going to touch on another question before we moved on to that one. Sorry. Okay. Sure, go ahead. Um, yeah, and that was around. Um, so obviously, this looks more like a retail offering. Um, I understand you have a corporate offering as well. Um, comes by the name of Cash Treasury. Is that something we can just touch on in terms of how that differs to the retail offering and and what's available for for corporates and sort of managing managing a treasury? Yeah, so the, the, the cash treasury, um, you know, s- similar to, to, you know, what comp- like compound treasury, other, um, other protocols, um, have, you know, other applications have been built on other protocols. Um, so obviously the, the engine is the same, you know, this is built on, on Terra, um, but, you know, there's a different sort of um, feature set uh, for businesses, um, including, you know, a very high touch customer service. 
obviously with DeFi, DeFi is DeFi. There's no there's no customer service on DeFi except if you go into into you know Discord or Reddit and, and talk to the community. Um, the community is the customer service. Um, in this case, you know institutions, businesses expect a, a, a traditional type of uh, touch point there for for customer service. So that's an important part of it. Um, and you know integrating insurance um, solutions into the product as well. Um, so you know we're looking at um, you know insurance on the on the anchor protocol um, that would be integrated into that um, and other services. So um, you know we, we believe that you know offering businesses a, a stable ten percent interest rate um, works based on you know the businesses we've spoken to and and the way we're presenting it is um, as CD accounts, so certificates of deposits. You know most businesses hold their funds in, in CDs. Um, you know it's it's a one point four trillion dollar market. Uh, so the, the strategy there is to to you know, educate businesses about this alternative, uh, essentially CD market, where they can hold uh, deposits and, and earn much higher um, interest rates. Um, so yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, concierge level of customer support, um, rewards program included into that, more like business type of rewards. Um, obviously, a lot of businesses there's international payments, so you know, a focus on on some of the features um, for for cross border payments, and, and additional layers of of security. Um, so that's, um, yeah, so that's basically the, the, the cash treasury powered, powered by, um, um the, the Terra, uh, ecosystem. Awesome. Is that available now or is that coming soon? That's coming soon. We're planning on rolling that out, um, in beta in November. So it'll be in private beta for a few months and, and then probably go live uh, Q1 next year. Okay. Great. Watch this space on, on that one then. Um, all right. Okay. You touched on before that we just missed the cash awards. So yes, that was going to come back to that one, as you can see there, um, the cash awards tab. Um, best way I can describe it is it's like having air miles or some sort of points on your, on your card. There is no cash token that sort of moves up and down in price. Um, um, the cash credits in this case are fixed on like a points basis. Um, so can you just sort of give us an overview how this is going to work, what we've got in terms of um, tiered statuses, um, how many points we need to get to those tiers and what those tiers are going to unlock in terms of additional sort of features, bonuses, services, et cetera. Sure. Well, so I, I have to give credit to, to the advisory team that we put together about five months ago. Um, so these are advisors from, from different um, different asks, different parts of, of business from, from the crypto space, uh, hedge fund space, uh, data mining space. Um, and, and that team worked sort of tirelessly to, to put together this, this, the, the tokenomics for this, uh, program. So it's, it's obviously very different from the way, you know, people in DeFi see, uh, tokens. We wanted to make this more of a, as you said, a, an air miles type of uh, rewards program, um, which basically. Um, you've got several tiers um, and each tier gives you additional benefits. So, you know, higher interest uh, rate. So the, the base rate um, will be uh, 10%. And, you know, as you go from, from blue tier to diamond tier, um, you know, you're getting up to 16% um, with insurance, um, insurance options included into that. We want to make that standard. Um, when you go to a bank in the U.S., um, the bank doesn't ask you if you want FDIC insurance, you get FDIC insurance. So we want to make that sort of standard, whatever insurance we can, we can, um, include into the platform. Um, so other perks, you know, like getting free cards, um, um, and then different ways of, um, earning credits, whether it's, you know, deposits, um, you know, putting money into anchor, um, using mirror, um, sending, paying for things. Um, and then we're also um, looking to um, to integrate um, and have the ability to convert credits in, into gift cards. Um, so it's still early stage, uh, but we wanted to sort of you know lay the the ground there uh, for 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 people to look at to understand and then get feedback. So the white paper will be uh, published in, in the next uh, week or two, um, and so we're looking forward to getting feedback on that. And um, and uh, building out the, the the smart contracts for this over the next few months, and and uh, we're we'd like to launch by um, by the end of the year, uh, but it may be maybe January. We'll see. Okay, cool. Sounds really cool. Um, 
let, let's keep an eye on that one and we'll wait for the for the white paper. Um, am I right in thinking then that we can't buy, we can't just buy these credits, you have to earn them or, or can you buy them as well? If I just said, oh, look, I want, I want the diamond um, features and locks, can I, can I buy my way there or do I have to earn? Yeah, you could buy your way there. Um, you know, we're, uh, you know, there, there could be exchanges that people set up here to peer exchanges. They're tokens, so, or they will be tokens. So, um, so yeah, you could, you could exchange them with someone else um, for, for, for UST. So you could buy them and, and, uh, and uh, get to diamond tier immediately. Um, so right now you can earn um, what you see in here in the upper right are tickets. So you're getting your cash credits in the form of a ticket. Um, that's added to your account. And then once we actually launch the tokens on the blockchain, then you'll be able to exchange those tickets for, for, for the tokens. And that's when they'll become exchangeable. Awesome. So it's one for one, right? Um, yeah. And what is that going to be a Terra um, chain token or yes. how will that work? It will yeah, it'll be a Terra chain. Cool. Okay. We'll keep an eye for that one then. And then, so, so when you sign up to an account, you get a thousand credits. Um, and then anybody who watches this video and then retweets um, the tweet that has the link to the to the video on is gonna is gonna get an additional one thousand credits. I think John, you, you promised us, so that's a that's a good incentive for guys to to watch this, learn, and um, take a look and work their way up to the gold status. So an additional thousand. That's correct. That's correct. So um, yes, awesome. You retweet this, you'll you get another thousand credits to take you up to two thousand and. Um, and then there'll be other ways as when we add our referral program and our affiliate program, um, you'll be able to earn more credits that way. Brilliant. Okay, good stuff. We'll, uh, we'll make sure that all of that um, detail is in the, uh, in the bio of the YouTube video. And obviously we'll, uh, we'll share accordingly on, on Twitter once available. Um, so, so th and thank you again for, for offering that to the, uh, the watchers of this uh, Yield Labs channel. It's uh, really appreciated. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Okay, um, I think that covers most things. Um, I mean, what's the best way for people to to keep up to date with what's going on? You know, you mentioned the white papers come in. There's going to be you know things around cash rewards and services updates. What's the best way to keep in the loop with um, with Cash App, John? Um, so the, the the best way to keep in the loop is if you have an account, we're adding our notifications um, system to to this to to the app, so you'll get notifications in in the app. Um, and then you can also sign up for, um, for our newsletter. Um, and uh, those are probably the two best ways to, to stay in the loop. Uh, you can also join our, our Twitter channel, cat, at Cash DeFi. Um, and you know, everything is, is published there as well. Brilliant. Okay, we'll share those links as well. Um, obviously to your website, your Twitter channel, um, and then we'll pop them in the bio. So anyone who wants to take a look can, um, can do so. so I think that covers most things I wanted to ask. I think that's a really good overview of this, this offering and something that really um, excites me and something that I'd certainly like to use. January, the card I'll be able to use. I'm gonna hold you to it. Um, and I'm gonna be asking if it's not available. Um, so really excited for that one. Um, is there anything else you wanted to, to add, John, before we close? Um, yeah, no, thanks. Thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and, um, you know, looking forward to getting some more great customer feedback so we can make the, the product better for the community yeah okay good stuff so yeah if you've got any feedback um send it john's way i'm sure um twitter's probably been watched and and, and obviously email channels as well so any feedback let john know um thank you everybody for watching today um that's another wrap on another youtube video for yield labs um and maybe we can uh, catch up again in a few months john that'd be great yeah thanks a lot for having me on the show Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, guys.